The Diet and Exercise button on the results screen leads to the Diet and Exercise page. This page can be a helpful motivational tool to assist a person in changing their weight and is very simple to use. Instructions for this screen are in the box in the upper left corner. The box in the lower left contains a brief discussion on exercise and a short list of activities and an estimate of how many calories that John would burn if he spent 30 minutes in each of these activities. For example, if he spent 30 minutes doing low impact aerobics, John would burn 363 calories. On the right, we can see John's current weight, his target weight, and the current estimate of his DEE, which is how many calories we estimate that he is currently burning per day as a result of his average daily routine. Since he currently weighs more than his target, John needs to lose weight. The first thing to do is to adjust the rate of change sliding bar. The maximum rate of change that is generally considered to be safe without being under the close supervision of a doctor is 2 pounds per week, or 0.9 kilograms. So that is the maximum rate that you can select by default. As we move the sliding bar, notice the changes below. The time to reach the goal changes, as do the activity and intake sliding bars. This tool works using the rule of thumb that one pound of body weight or 0.45 kilograms, is roughly equivalent to 3,500 calories. To lose weight, you have to maintain a caloric deficiency. That is, you have to burn more calories, on average, than you consume. So, to lose a pound a week, you must burn 3,500 calories per week, or 500 calories per day, more than you eat. By default, however, BC will suggest a happy medium. It will take half of the total deficit, in this case 250 calories, and subtract it from DEE to get a recommended caloric intake, and suggest adding the other 250 in daily exercise. As we have already seen, if you adjust either the intake or the activity sliding bar, the other one will automatically update at the same time to enforce whatever rate of change was selected above. This way, if John were to say that he has no time to do extra exercise, we can respond, OK, but if you really want to lose a pound a week, we're going to have to cut the entire 500 calories out of your diet, and so on. The button in the lower right corner allows us to save these recommendations to John's record so we can check at future visits whether or not he is progressing as expected. At the top are two checkboxes one to add the activity list to the printed report, and one to add a sample meal plan of the selected number of calories, in this case, 2300. If we add the activities, they will be the ones listed here. But instead of just showing the calories per half hour, it will show multiple columns so you can see how many calories would be burned in 10, 20, 30, 60, and 120 minutes of each activity. This can really help drive home the message that if you do an exercise for twice as long, you'll burn twice the calories, etc. Turning on the meal plan checkbox will add a sample diet to the report. The diet plans used by BC are based on the old food pyramid, but many people still find them useful. If you want both the activity list and the meal plan to appear in the report, make sure both checkboxes are active. When you are done, click Return to Results to go back.